Now let's take more examples for the conversion of the mealy machine to the boo machine. So let's draw away a simple mealy machine. So on A, it produces the output zero. On A, it produces output one. On B, it produces output one. So A, goes to C by taking B and produces the output zero and this and this by getting symbol B goes to state C and produces the output zero. So this is the uh, mealy machine which is given. Here you can see that the output alphabets are zero and the one and the input alphabet is A and B. Now since we have to convert this, I will have to refer to the states here in mealy machine. So there are three states in the mealy machine, but the move machine can have more number of the states. We can do it by just checking up the transitions. So the A state will not have any uh, output associated with it because there is no transition which is ending at a state A. State A goes to B by taking symbol A and produces the output zero. State C goes to B by taking a small a but produces the output zero. And state B when it takes the input A, it goes to B state only and produces the output one. So there is a conflict that we have two outputs and the two outputs cannot be associated with the states. So hence I will have to consider two B states. Let's say one state is B and one state is B dash. So on B, let's say zero is associated with the output and on the B dash, let's say one is associated with the output. So let's make the transitions. So A moves to state B, which produces the output zero. So I'll go to B on A. Similarly, state C, let's say that this is the C state. So C state goes to B state, which produces the output zero on A. Now, since there is a self loop, in B, which produces the output one. So I'll say that I go to B dash from B by taking the input A and produces the output one. And self loop defines that we have, we can have any number of A's coming on B. So that's why I make the transition from B dash and remain at B dash because the expected output is one. So I will remain at B dash only. Then in the C state, you can see, you can check that. Let's unmark those transitions that I have marked earlier. Let's mark the transitions which are coming to C. So one is this one that is producing the output zero. One is this one that is producing the output zero, but this transition is producing output one. So let's make two states in C, one which produces the output zero and one C dash, let's say, which produces the output one. Now, A when goes to B, uh, A when goes to C produces the output zero, hence I'll move to C state on B. And state B goes to C and produces the output one, zero. So I'll move to state number C on taking the symbol B. And similarly, B dash will also be moving to C and will produce the output zero because B and B dash are equivalent. The conflicting transitions are C, uh, which actually is in the self loop and producing the output one. So I will say that from C on getting B symbol, I'll move to C dash, which produces the output one. And since this is in the self loop, so I will remain at C dash only on getting a symbol B and will produce the output one. Now, let's see if this is complete. I think there is a slight change required here because C by getting A moves to B state and produces the output zero. So C dash should also do the same thing. So C dash on getting A should move to state number B and should produce the output zero. Fine. Now I have seen all the transitions. 
and I have converted that Mealy machine to the Moore machine. And this completes this question, but a slight, a slight uh, uh, effort is required in making the transition table also. So let's make the transition table. Here the states are A, B, D dash, and C, C dash. And uh, what we'll do that uh, we'll show the transitions with the symbols input alphabets A and B, and the outputs that will be produced is zero and one. So output function, we will have to associate every uh, state with some output since I cannot mark it with A. So let's leave it as such. And for B, the output associated is zero, with B dash it is one, with C it is zero, and with C dash it is one. So A moves to B with a small a, A moves to C with a small b, B moves to B dash on a small a, and uh, B on a small b moves to C, then B dash on A remains at itself, and it moves to C on getting B. Now C on getting A moves to B, with B it moves to C dash, C dash on A, a goes to B, and C dash remains at itself on getting B. So this completes the transition table for the move machine. This defines the delta, sorry, del means the transition function, and this defines the output function lambda also. So I hope this is clear to you, and we will discuss some more examples on the conversion of Mealy machine to the Mure machine in the subsequent lecture. Thanks for watching.